Hey everybody, it has been absolutely crazy these last few weeks and it's gonna continue um, like non-stop until basically the second week of May. But today while I was doing research for some of the longer, uh, longer full-term videos and like top five videos that I was doing, an article popped up that had nothing to do with the subjects I was looking at, but something that was really, really cool and definitely something that correlates with the animal with me today, our Max Pink Argentine Boa. So, if you ever read any of these uh, articles, and I'm absolutely going to link it in the description of this video so you can take a look at it, they're very, very technical. There's a lot of jargon, and it's a pretty tough read, um, even for someone who's more accustomed to reading those things. Like, I had to reread sections quite a few times, um, but I really wanted to talk about this while it's still fresh. So, basically, there was an article that's a, a research project, an article that someone was working on to talk about boa speciation. Um, I've talked about this multiple times in the past where boa species is highly contested from like imperators being their own thing, the different subspecies of boa constrictor, sometimes longicata being put in imperator, sometimes being put with constrictor, amorellii, the bolivian short tails, sometimes with constrictor, sometimes on their own. And so this person went down because he was looking at, you're okay, um, he was actually looking at an entirely different population of boas across the North Atlantic forest in Brazil. Um, it's actually a very populated area for both not only people, but boa constrictors as well. And he was convinced that this was an entirely separate species or subspecies of boa. So they took sampling of over, so mus muscle tissue samples from over 40 boas that span across multiple different types of boas, including constrictors, longicatas, argentines, um, all sorts of different ones to compare and do a mitochondrial, mitochondrial analysis of them and compare them to each other to see whether or not they were distinct enough to be considered their own subspecies or species. And going in there, they had discovered that there was enough variation, I think it was 5% variation, to distinguish it as its own species. And they are calling it um, essentially the North Atlantic Forest Boa, where, and again, I'm gonna link it in the description of this so you can get a much more technical um, layout of that. They're describing how this is now its own separate species from Nebulosa, from Constrictor, and even from Imperator. However, also in the same research, they discovered that the mitochondrial DNA differences of the Argentines, the Argentine boas, were unambiguous and separate entirely from all of the other ones. Ish. Um, I'm super, super dumbing it down for you guys. And so essentially what that was implying is that they were, in this article, elevating the Argentine boas to their own species as well, the boa ascendentalis. And so that would be another entirely separate species. Um, this was started back in 2023. It was approved in January and it was just posted a couple days ago. And I think the actual pu published date on it was April 17th. This is by no way me saying and claiming that then now we can sit there and say that the boa constrictor um, no longer has this as a subspecies. The boa, Ar the Argentine boa, the boa ascendentalis is its own species on its own, as well as now this new boa antelet, uh, ante uh, boa atlantica, or the North Atlantic forest boa, the North Atlantic boa is also its own species. It's just something very interesting that's going on in reptile news and constant research and learning and discovering new things about these wonderful animals that I just absolutely want to talk about and bring light to this really cool and interesting subject. Again, I've talked about taxonomy, I don't even know how many times, and it's not going to end anytime soon, about how ridiculous it is and how crazy people fight about it, but it's something very interesting. There's a lot of references, there's a lot of research go goes into it, and a lot of study before one of these um, things actually gets published. So if you have a little bit of time, absolutely take a look at this really, really interesting uh, article that talks about potentially, they claim one, but if we're going to sit there and give relevance to it, essentially the elevation of two new species of South and of Central and South American boas, including the Argentine boa. So hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. Absolutely check it out. Stay tuned for more reptile content. Hope you're having a great day and we will check you next time.